goddamn ungrateful motherfucker. Boy. Yo, what is good YouTube? Krishan checking back in with another video. Now we have a little beef going on in the bodybuilding world, it seems guys, between Blessing Awodabu and Charles Griffin. Now the Charles Griffin won the Kelly Pro, he did a pre-show interview that Flex Magazine posted it, and Blessing decided to respond to what was said. So I usually don't get into the drama guys, but honestly I feel like taking this avenue can kind of help people that aren't into the sport get into the sport. And I'm all about promoting bodybuilding and making it better. If you guys don't enjoy this content, let me know in the comment section below. But here's the footage. God damn, ungrateful motherfucker. Boy, you should be on your hands and knees right now. Saying thank you, Boogie, for giving me a chance to qualify for the 2022 Mr. Olympia. Motherfucker, I was going for three P. We were going for three for three, but I felt bad for you. And I wanted you to qualify for 2022 Mr. Olympia. That's why I didn't do the college pro. Now you're running your mouth. Fool ass motherfucker. I'll see you soon. Besides that, now you're going directly to the Mr. Olympia. You're going to have a rematch with Blessing Awodipo, a.k.a. the Boogeyman. You said, I felt like I won that show. Is that a, a call for a rematch at the Olympia between you and Blessing? I'm about to eat Blessing up. I'm going to eat Blessing up. Blessing did not beat me at Indy, so I'm gonna I'm gonna eat Blessing up. Blessing, he man, yeah, I'm eating him up. The boogeyman's gonna get ate up by the definition. That's what's gonna happen. Essentially, Charles Griffin was saying that Blessing did not deserve to beat him at Indy, and the boogeyman is gonna get ate up by the definition at this year's Mr. Olympia. So you guys, let me know in the comment section below. What do you guys think about the beef? What do you guys think about you know the Indy Pro? Did Charles Griffin deserve to win? And I will run a slideshow through the poses real soon. But I think this is actually pretty good. You know, these guys are a lot closer in competition than I believe Blessing and Nick is. It's just great to see a little bit of banter. But I think we all know Blessing is going to probably need a few years before he's able to challenge a guy like Nick Walker. But he just beat Charles Griffin, you know. And this actually, you know, this may be a little bit real, guys. Charles seems like a real stand-up dude. So I don't think he's going to really play too many games. You know, it seems a bit serious, which is... Honestly, interesting, guys. Honestly, very interesting. But as always, let me know you guys' opinion in the comment section below. Was Charles Griffin robbed at the Indy Pro, you know? Honestly, I believe Charles Griffin would have won the New York Pro, you know? Blessing was a little bit off. If Charles would have came in with this package or a better package, he could have potentially won New York. And he was probably at home shaking his head. Now, that's taking nothing away from Blessing at all. The package that Blessing brought to Indy was a lot better than the package that he brought to the New York Pro. I believe I've done a comparison on that. And if I haven't, pretty sure marks max has someone's done a comparison of it guys but this is very interesting you know and i actually did compare charles griffin and i've compared blessing a waterboot to nick walker you know they match up you know decently but nick walker is constantly improving and nick walker is in a boat to possibly win the mr olympia where you have these two guys that are you know trying to get into the top 10 maybe the top eight taking nothing away from them at all man charles is an incredible bodybuilder you know incredible arms and he made one of his Weakest points, one of his strongest points. Also, Blessing of Waterboo placed third in Indy, went to the New York Pro and placed six, came back the next year, won both shows with the guru, George Farrer. I can't lose with George Farrer on my side, man. And I'm actually very excited for this year's Mr. Olympia because we have a lot of guys that wasn't there last year, you know, like Blessing of Waterboo. We're going to have Charles Griffin, you know, Steve Kuklo leading the way in points, so he's probably going to get there. We have Rafa Brandeo, we have Samson Dowda, we have all of these very aesthetic guys. There's also a lot of very heavily muscle guys. I believe we have 15 or 16 guys already qualified for the Mr. Olympia. You know, Ian Vier has yet to qualify, you know, so we have a lot of guys that are still trying to get in there. A lot of the shows closer to the Mr. Olympia are going to be very, very stacked. And everyone who got their qualification early, very smart. Steve Kuklo was unable to qualify last year because he put his eggs in on one basket trying to win Texas. He actually tried to win the Arnold Classic where he was second but slipped down to third. But this was pretty much about the beef, guys. I'm kind of just ranting off at this point. But as always, I hope you guys did indeed enjoy this video. And let me know in the comment section below, do you guys enjoy this kind of content or would you guys like more of just a news or a comparison? I don't want to get too deep into the drama, but I do think this could potentially help the sport grow. And bodybuilding needs to grow, guys. We need more fans. I'm Christian from Go Fitness, and I'm out.